down. You got some six pounder fish. Bassin with Buzz, Hunter of Fish. I think it's gonna have a new name. Forget the movie Frozen by Disney. It's just gonna be Frozen Hunter of Fish. I am out here and somewhere in the Midwest and it is 21 degrees out and we're going fishing. I say we, who are we fishing with? No one, not many people are as crazy as I am, but look at Mr. Steve Klein. All he right. looks good driving a nitro, doesn't he? Oh yeah. So Steve, we're out here in the middle of somewhere. I see birds diving. What do you think the, what, if you're going to predict the fishing today, what would you say? I think it's going to be slow, but I believe we're going to catch some fish and they're probably going to be nice ones, I believe. Any idea how we're going to catch them yet? Well, we're going to throw an A-rig, probably a rattle trap, probably a, maybe even a chatterbait. I hear they're biting on chatterbaits. We'll give it a try. Oh, they're biting the chatterbait. My chatterbait is going to rip them up. Enjoy the show. Here we go. Fish on. Fishing. A tradition and a hundred of fish. Bass with buzz, I always catch the first one. But look at this guy, he's all crooked. Yeah. It's a nice healthy bass. If you catch one more, I'm changing over, I know that. Why why start here? What's this spot hole? This has a little a little point that comes out. Just it's bit, I don't know, it's just a little bit of a point comes out and the fish will will gang up on that point a little bit. Plus the shad, I think the shad will stop when they're swimming around. They seem like the shad just swim around this lake in a big circle. You'll notice the birds when they dive, they'll dive in certain parts. And it just seems like they just make a circle around the lake all the time. It's just one of the stopping points, it seems like. And that's what I usually like to look for is like an inside turn or a point and figure out what, where they're at in you know, either one. But Got one. Not very big, but I got one on. Umbrella? Umbrella rig. Look at, the Look at the ice on your rod tip. <laughs> there we go. Actually broke the ice. There's <laughs> a lot of bait right here. I can they're bumping them a whole bunch right through here. There's baits down there. I can keep I can feel it. I keep running right into the shad or bluegills or crappies, whatever it may be. Did you? On your blade? Yeah. Oh, look at this giant, sir. Monster. Wow. November 10th, 21 degrees outside. Nothing but 150. Look at that, he even caught Steve. He even got me. <laughs> wow, he's on him now. Yeah, buddy. This one might be 13 inches. Yeah. It is a fish, look though. That. You don't want to eat that? Yeah, you got that. Full hooks in there, Steve. Man, I That's guess. Uh, I, I'm not too worried about the DNR jacket. He, he lives right over there. Huh? He lives right over there. Oh, no kidding? Yes. Oh, nice. oh I got a good one, it feels like. Go. Yeah, it feels like a nice fish. Pulling real hard anyways, Andy. Oh, yeah, he's a nice one. He's not moving very fast in that cold water. I don't know if we can get him in the boat by lifting him up. There we go. Oh, Look at that. Go. Look at that giant. Yes, sir. That's what we came at. Oh, he popped Ooh. off right in the Ooh, boat. There. Let me get a hold of him here. How heavy is that, sir? Look at that. All right. I'd say it's close to five. I think so. I'm going to get a picture. Of nice fish. Anytime you can catch a big fish this time of year. And this is a good time to catch them. Even though it's cold out, they still bite. I think I've fished some ice fishing days that's been warmer than this. See the ice on the guy there. Oh my gosh, man. Oh, 
Oh, holy! Boat lift up. There we go. Wow, look at that one. Holy cow! That was even bigger. Holy moly, oh, man! Just come out. Oh my gosh! There we go. That's what we came after. Oh no, he's not big. Like two, <laughs> two three, three and a half pounder. All the baits just fell out. Both of them was in his mouth and they both just fell out. Oh my gosh! Another fish. Nice. Well, you got three five pounders now. Amazing. Decent fish. Yeah. <laughs> if I can get him one hook. Without getting hooked. Oh, now you got your glove? Yeah, I got my glove. Oh, nice fish. And yeah. Oh no, he's only four pounds. How'd you catch that fish? I caught that fish on a rig, and one fish hit it right before that, and I had him on, and then this one got back to the other one got off. You think that's the same fish? It could be the same fish. You're awesome, man. Throw him back. Yep. Still pretty nice. He's a monster, buddy. All right. So we've been fishing for about three and a half hours. We're not making anything up when we talk about how cold it is. Look look at the ice forming on the boat. See all that shiny stuff right there on Steve's tackle bag. Now, a couple hours ago, Steve said that this is probably gonna be a slow bite. Steve, what do you say now? It's been tremendous. I can't believe how many fish we caught and big ones. It's, it's unbelievable and they're shallow. They're only like four or five, six foot of water. It's, I, how many five pounders we caught? Five or six? I'd say at least. And you got one, at least one that's over six for yeah. sure. Yeah. So you're talking 26, seven pound limit right now. Plus the ones that we lost in the boat were nice ones too. Yeah. Can't count those, we didn't get the boat. No, no, but the weather and cold water fishing. I've always said it's kind of like a needle in the haystack, but if you find that needle, it's the best needle you ever find. And Steve has put us on that so far. Yeah. But the best thing is we're not quite done yet. We're going to catch a few more fish. Let's hope. Talk to me. What's going oh on, Steve? Oh boy, look at this one. Giant? This is a fish here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. You got some six pounder, Steve. Oh my gosh! Look at this bad boy! Oh my. 
up here. Make it faster. Amazing! That is amazing! Man. Another big one? Yeah. Oh, four. I don't know, Steve. I think you got another five here, sir. You gonna call that a four? I don't think you got a four there, but oh my gosh! Yeah, I think it's bigger than four. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. Wow. It's a nice fish. Unbelievable. Great job. Especially for cold weather like it is. And there's no other boats out here. <laughs> yeah, I got ice forming. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Lord. He's not a monster? Not a monster. No, okay, you say so. You see a mouth open up? Big eyes and big mouth and a little body. Big uh, Okay. Yeah, he's three and three quarter, four pounds. <laughs> we'll take him on a day like today. <laughs> Tiny three pounders, huh? Yeah. A little bit more. I've lost track of four pounders, four and a half pounders, four nice and three fish, quarter pounders. I, I lost track how many you caught. That's <laughs> it, baby. Oh, shoot, I can see it. Gotta get him in a boat before it counts, Steve. Steve, what would you say to someone who wants to fish this time of year? How do they get started? I mean, 40 degree water scares most people. You just got to get out and try it and don't be afraid to go shallow. The fish get shallow, even though you don't think they do. They do around here. Fish slow sometimes and sometimes you got to fish fast. Today we're just kind of cranking it slow, but that's because we're fishing shallow. Unbelievable.
It was most definitely an unbelievable day of fishing. Thanks to Steve Klein. Steve's got a request. He says you have to subscribe to this channel. And we came out here when it's 23 degrees. I got snot dripping from my nose to bring it to you. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe, comment, like below. Till next time, we'll see you on the water. Real close to your weight. I got him again. You better get rigged up, son. Or